student isn't easy, so how can a child stay on track in school? And what can parents and family members do to be supportive? That's what we're looking at every month with the help and guidance of a teacher from the State Department of Education. This morning, we're joined by Eileen Carr, a fifth grade teacher from Manoa Elementary. And Mrs. Carr has been teaching now for 18 years. So thank you for <laughs> being here again this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I remember last time we talked about the importance of support at home. It's not just about being a good student in the classroom, but you need to have that support at home from your family members and friends. Um, what kind of ongoing work should family members do? Because I find myself energized and inspired right when the school year begins. How do you do that every day? Um, I think that families can help by um, helping children to learn to value being well-rounded people. And I think one way that they can do that is setting aside some time to unplug from devices, to turn off the screens, um, and to spend more quality time together um, exploring um, books together. So setting up a, a reading life with your child so that maybe you're reading together the same book. Maybe you're separately reading the same book, almost like a book club. Um, and then having conversations about what you've read so that you are actually engaging with your, ch your child on an intellectual level. Um, and during some of that unplugged time, you might also just have fun playing different board games or going outside, doing physical um, activities together. Um, and when you say unplugged time, you mean every day? I think it's not such a bad idea to have some times of each day where the devices go off mm -hmm. and the whole family is kind of, of experiencing what it's like to turn the screens off and engage with one another or um, just engage with other activities that don't require, you know, electricity or screens some of the time. Okay. Um, also, you talk about honoring the whole child. What does that mean? Well, I think that it's important for, for families to recognize that children spend an enormous amount of time in school, and it's an incredibly valuable time. But children are more than just their academic selves. They're also, you know, physical people, and they're, they're people who need to have experiences with nature, um, with being physical, and their parents can help show them what that might look like. Um, so enga engaging them in conversations and encouraging them to get out and experiencing the world and maybe even doing that together because it seems like back in the day at least when i was going to school it was all about textbooks and getting good grades but it seems that now in the classroom a lot of educators are encouraging kids to find themselves and become a whole well-rounded citizen instead of just a, a, st a good student that's Is right. that true that's right yeah and there are plenty of institutions in the city who will even support that um, the museums have classes that parents can take with their children um, the aquarium there are lots of places that that um, children can learn about the kind of the greater picture of, of this world that they're living in beyond the textbook beyond the classroom okay and for any parent or guardian who's watching working you, they can get more information or ideas on how to unplug or how to encourage your kids year-round yes is there a website that they can go to? Um, I think if, if they take a look at um, some of the, the art museum's website, um, there are lots of classes offered every semester. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, the aquarium has different programs for kids. Um, but It almost sounds like just taking a field trip with the family. Yeah, you definitely. Know, and just sometimes learning outside of the classroom and out of the home is just as important as learning in the textbook. Absolutely. Okay. Definitely. All right. Thank you so much again, Eileen Carr, fifth grade teacher from Manoa Elementary. But of course, you've been doing this for 18 years That's and right. you've taught in numerous states. But yeah. you said Hawaii yes. is your passion. You love your students. Yes, I yes. love my students. All right. Well, thank yes. you so much for being here. Thank you.